Hello friends, welcome back, Arti welcome to you. Let's look at this interesting example. We have been a equal to cube root of 2 minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 3 and b equal to cube root of 1 by 9 minus cube root of 2 by 9 plus cube root of 4 by 9. We have to establish relationship between a and b whether a is greater than b, a is equal to b, a is less than b or a is equal to minus of b or a cube equal to b. We have to find out what's the relation between a and b. What we will do, we'll try to simplify this whatever the given information a and b in terms of exponents. So what I will do, first I'll write it as, I'll say a equal to 2 power 1 by 3 minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 3. Then we'll spend couple of minutes on b and try to see what it is. It's nothing but 1 by 9 whole to the power of 1 by 3 minus 2 by 9 whole to the power of 1 by 3 plus 4 by 9 whole to the power of 1 by 3. Now we see that in the denominator we have 9 to the power of 1 by 3 common. So can I write it as 1 minus 2 power 1 by 3 plus 4. How can we write it? 4 is nothing but 2 square. So can I say 2 power 2 by 3 divided by 9 to the power of 1 by 3. 9 is 3 square. So can I write it as 3 power 2 by 3. I hope that step is clear. 1 power 1 by 3 is 1, 2 power 1 by 3, 4 is 2 square, 2 power 2 by 3 or 2 power 1 by 3 whole square divided by 9 to the power of 1 by 3, 9 is 3 square. So that's equal to 3 power 2 by 3. So this is what we have in terms of a and b we try to simplify it. Now I see that this whole equation is in terms of 2 power 1 by 3. 2 power 1 by 3, 2 power 1 by 3 whole square. So I just want to make I just want to make 2 power 1 by 3 as a variable so that it becomes easy to solve it. For that what I will do, I will write down here. I will say I'll use this as my rough no, for that. I will say x equal to 2 power 1 by 3. That means x square equal to 2 power 2 by 3. Not only that, x cube equal to 2, comma, x cube plus 1 equal to 3, and also we know x cube minus 1 equal to 1. Now what is x cube plus 1? Can I write down x plus 1 into a cube plus b cube formula is a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square equal to a cube plus b cube that's equal to 3 a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square similarly a cube minus b cube is a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square equal to a cube minus b cube so we'll put all the information whatever we can do with respect to that x so that whenever it is needed we can easily use it. First we will go to our a and we have to the power of 1 by 3. So is it nothing but x minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 3? a equal to x minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 3. So can I go ahead and say a cube equal to x minus 1. We will remember in terms of x we will write it down here a cube equal to x minus 1. We will remember that. We will just go back to now b and see how we can relate a and b by simplifying the b. So if I convert b, transform them in terms of x, I have t 2 power 2 by 3 is x square. So can I say x square minus x plus 1 divided by 3 power 2 by 3 which is equal to, we know that x square minus x plus 1 is 3 by x plus 1. So can I write it as 3 by x plus 1 into 3 power 2 by 3. 
are which is nothing but equal to 3 power 1 by 3 divided by x plus 1. Now, since we have cubed a and we try to make it as rational, I mean as much as possible to remove the powers, let's do that here also. We'll see what is b cube. b cube equal to 3 power 1 by 3 whole cube that is 3 divided by x plus 1 whole cube. That's equal to 3 divided by x cube plus a plus b whole cube formula is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b 3x square plus 3a b square that's nothing but 3x. Now we'll try to simplify this. We will say 3 divided by x cube plus 1 we know is equal to 3. Can so I can directly write it down. I can say 3 plus 3x square plus 3x and I can simplify that and say 3 divided by 3 into x square plus x plus 1. Now 3 3 will cancel. I get 1 by x square plus x plus 1. But from this equation I can see 1 by x square plus x plus 1 equal to x minus 1 equal to x minus 1. So, we got a cube equal to x minus 1 and also b cube equal to x minus 1. That tells me that a cube is equal to b cube. That means a is equal to b. So, the relation between a and b is a is equal to b. Let me recap this. A is given as 2 power 1 by 3 minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 3. B is given as cube root of 1 by 9 minus cube root of 2 by 9 plus cube root of 4 by 9. So when I try to simplify this, we see that 2 power 1 by 3 can be taken as a variable so that we can simplify this problem. So I took x equal to 2 power 1 by 3. Then x square will be 2 power 2 by 3. x cube is 2. x cube plus 1 is 3. x cube minus 1 is 1. And what is a cube plus b cube? a cube minus b cube formulas. We have write them directly here. x plus 1 into x square minus x plus 1 is 3. And also x minus 1 into x square plus x plus 1 equal to 1. Now, we know a cube equal to x minus 1. We want to prove what is b cube. Is it equal to x minus 1 so that I can say a equal to b. For that, we converted b in terms of x and we understood it is x square minus x plus 1 by 3 power 2 by 3. But we know x square minus x plus 1 is 3 by x plus 1. We did a little bit of manipulation. We got b equal to 3 power 1 by 3 by x plus 1. Are you cubic? cube on both sides we have b cube equal to 3 by x plus 1 whole cube expanding a plus b whole cube formula a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab 3ab square we can cancel 3 on both sides we got 1 by x square plus x plus 1 but what is 1 by x square plus x plus 1 is nothing but equal to x minus 1 so a cube equal to b cube equal to x minus 1 that means can i go ahead and say a equal to b so that's the third problem from IIT Ramaya 2016. This question and solution shared by Rakesh. Thanks Rakesh for sharing this. I just tried to do it in another way. Hope you may like it. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.